Oh yeah, in fact I forgot to say, it's the only four-seater mid-engine car ever made. How many seater? Be. It's four-seater. <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and it's actually for one of the very few times it is actually good morning not only because we're going out with the Evora S but also because it is actually morning it's the one of the earliest laps in I don't know how long because in the past it's been always foggy, rainy or I don't know what and actually right now it is going to be dry until uh, 11 so we need to uh, carpe diem get the day. So tell us more about this amazing baby of yours. Uh, so it's an early Lotus Evora S. Yeah. Um, most people know and love the later cars, the 400, the 410, the 430. Mm -hmm. um, I like this because it had the original suspension which is a lot softer uh, and it's got probably the best seats they ever put in the board. Okay. Um, I also prefer the looks of the original car. I think it looks more traditional Lotus. Yeah. Um, and I quite like its understatedness. I've never driven an Evora, like never, so, because surprisingly everyone is having here the, the first or the second gen of the Elise or Exige and then uh, here we have an Evora. Is it still a raw Lotus or is it like more a GT actually? I think it's definitely designed to be a GT, Yeah. But when you start to get on it a bit like a 911, you, you feel the character of proper raw Lotus. Nice. So it does that same thing that Porsche do where it's a comfortable road car, mm -hmm. but when you're really on it, you can feel that it's a real car. Nice, nice. So it's not fully stuck, it has some uh, track prep mods. So you set the carbon lure in uh, brake pads? Carbon lure in RB5 plus pads and some high temperature fluid. Uh, nice. That's it. Other than that's that, good. It's completely standard. And two different sets of tires. <laughs> and, and not matching tires. <laughs> <laughs> so we have on the rear uh, P0s, or what yeah. was it? P0s on the rear and PS4s is on the front. Yeah, that's right. So uh, usually I think. No, no, actually, I, I always uh, left them uh, similar because I believe on the, what was it, on the on the Viper we had stickier front and less sticky rear, same as here, and then yesterday we drove a 700 horsepower BMW with stickier rear, less stickier front, so, yeah, yeah it's something different, something different. Anyway, uh, let's hop in and uh, do a lap. Oh, well, what suspension is it on? It's stuck something, yeah, but it looks... suspension, but they're Bill Steins. Uh... Ah. B, B something. They're like quite high, B14 something. <laughs> Alright, pretty decent. Good, good. Well, let's uh, have some fun and listen to the supercharger wine. I believe that uh, has it a bit of it, huh? Yeah, it's not so good. It needs an induction kit for that. Ah, okay, okay. But, uh, it still makes a good noise. Nice. Let's go. Excited, excited. Woohoo! So, as you can see, we actually already did a lap because we needed to warm up the tires. And there was an option to go some local B road or something, but there is only one B road that I know, and that's the, the Norge Life. Eh? Uh, and now we're going for a second lap where we can talk you through a couple of things. Mm. Once I get my life ticket out. Do, 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 do. Let's not have it in the fourth gear. Yeah. There we go. So, as you can see on the dials, we already have it in uh, sport mode. It only comes with a sport, not a sport plus. And traction control is off because usually it's like too intrusive. And for the rest, we'll let the baby sing. We have a nice shift light or three shift lights that indicate when we need to shift up. One, two, three. There we go. Traffic on the previous lap. Actually, a bit more fun. First impression: suspension is quite soft, especially after the compression. Like, woo, then you like float on the uphill. The brakes are also, I wouldn't say not the optimal brake performance, but.
the first lap because it got me really too used to the car and the dimensions. Now we can dance in the curves and the traffic. And it's like you said, it feels soft, the suspension, but once you get used to it, it's quite forgiving. But that's also the essence of Bilstein. It's uh, significantly softer than anything else, which is actually quite good for here. With all the bumps and everything. I was thinking it suited the circuit. Yeah.
slab, but not on camera. The gearing is quite long, but good. You can still keep the whole thing in current gear tree here, almost from the, the carousel. actually did quite well like even though, even though we had two different tires it's uh, it didn't want to like spin out or whatnot because the the, um, the torque delivery is quite linear thanks to the supercharger so it doesn't want to bite you in your ass so I like that suspension soft but still doable uh, and at the end of the day I assume you drive it more on the streets than you do on track I do yeah and at that point it's uh, a very welcome feature to uh, have it uh, to an extent comfortable because we can make the trip from UK to here and you know exactly. do laps. And... Ah, we have... is it us? Smoking brakes. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna avoid this traffic jam, especially people trying to get out, which is not a parking lot here, uh, and cool down the brakes. Thank you. Yeah. What was uh, your uh, impression? I would say. Yeah, it was really nice to... Ooh. Come on, what's wrong with people? Oh. Dude! Anyone has one, it would be nice to uh, experience one. <laughs> 